All right, we got movement. Yep. Oh, that's cool. You see crap? They got a record in here. Yes. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, this whoa. is worth seeing. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> they don't always cooperate, so when they do, you want to see it. I discovered that. No, you give them a tube of entry. Yeah, yeah. Good. Nice when it works. She's in the proboscis. You're seeing something that very few people have seen. Really? Yeah. Really? Really. Not many people wow. have ever seen an animal burrow. <laughs> they usually like Are, aren't they yeah. called, uh, <laughs> cool. Yeah, they can regenerate. Yeah. I'm going to look at At first they were like, which is the <laughs> Yep. Nice. And you can see that he turned. It's much easier yeah. to burrow next to the wall, and now now he's trapped because he'll just keep burrowing next to the wall. So have you ever tried a Maldanid? Uh, uh, yes. Cool. They work. Mm -hmm. so, so it's sort of like a slingshot action. They'll like take some of because they have that, mm -hmm. that so pressure, like that. and then they'll have it you know, very narrow and they'll just can force you the pressure and just make a new thing? cracks it open. Yeah. Make a new part of it. Yes. Yes, I can. Oh, okay. I can see. Oh, right. Cool. <laughs> Did you see that? You see the teeth? The teeth? Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, you should no, come no. here and see. I, make I, the video. I told you that the jello is tasty. <laughs> <laughs> I make good jello. I'm a good cook. Poor arms. Poor arms. So, <laughs> why don't come on this side and hold the tube? You can probably pull the tube out now. Let it be swell in Yeah, there you go. Oh, it's like, what happened what to my tail? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go check it out. So, orbinids are really interesting. They, um, when they burrow and move, they corkscrew. Um, so, they twist. They go in and, and then they twist themselves around and if they don't like where they are, they will untwist themselves and corkscrew themselves back out. Or orbinid? Orbinid. We don't have that though? You don't have orbinids, no. We used to. Yet. But the disturbance yeah. is really... The disturbance in, in uh, Moscow going, going. is too high mm -hmm. and they have disappeared in recent years. So the Neftis won't... You can try it. They seem you, to be like you know, Yeah, you may, you may be able to get it. Uh, Neftis mm -hmm. likes to be maybe it's a millimeter a, underneath the sediment surface. So, oh. And so uh, they don't tend to like to go try to go deep. But you just, can try. You can try it. You've got, you have, uh, I have, have some. You get them in and we've got some. I mean, yeah. this, is, this is all exploration. Um, Kind of slowed down. Yeah. What happens sometimes is uh, th this is completely elastic material. So it's always pushing back on, on the worm. In mud, after a while, the mud flows a little bit and there's not so much pressure on. Oh. And sometimes worms just get tired and they give up. <laughs> and it looks like the Garfield <laughs> smashed against your windshield because they just, they, <laughs> they get completely flattened uh, if they give up.
does he use the power pole as like ankas? Like push yeah, his body in and then spread them out and push yeah, forward to the proboscis. Otherwise, he, if he didn't have power pole, he'd be not be able to go forward really. Right. Yeah. I kind of notice he kind of spread his body wider yeah. Yeah. as he's pushing forward. But if you didn't know about cracks, you wouldn't know why the worms were bilaterally <coughs> symmetrical instead of uh, cylindrically symmetrical. Images that Kelly Dorgan measured. Took. You could see, you could see that crack happen. And I have pictures through the microscope of what's happening when those worms turn their heads in that degree. And it's not just the myriads that do it. Um, and what that means, what I'm interested in knowing, and Pete is too, um, is what what those behaviors mean in terms of the supply of chemical cues to the worms. Yeah, how do you sniff in the mud? How do you sniff when you're in the mud? Because that's important for determining the rules of those computer model worms.